Michelle, this is Kevin and Debbie. We're from Yarra City Council, um, Aged and Disability Services. We're funded to provide Commonwealth Home Support Program and Home and Community Care for Younger People Program. Recently, um, a number of staff went to training provided by Vanish um, around our diversity action plan for learning and improving our awareness and knowledge for people and parents who have been separated from their children by forced adoption and removal. Um, so we just wanted to share some, some key learnings. So I might throw over to Debbie. Yes, uh, I'm Debbie, so I'm a coordinator for Willowview Centre, which is um, uh, I'm the um, Chief Funding will be categorised as social support group. And um, one key thing, or so some of the key points that I got out of the training, was to um, to have a skill um, and the knowledge to recognise any sign or people um, wanting to talk about their past or uh, forced adoption experience. Um, usually, those information because we we operated as a group, and it, it could possibly come out um, as an accidental disclosure through our reminiscence activities, or sometimes when we're chatting with clients, it might come out that way. So I guess the important thing for us to is to learn to recognise them and to be able to respond to uh, people's disclosure in a sensitive and appropriate way. Uh, what I got out of that training is to never uh, make assumptions about what people want to disclose or not uh, and also to um, give people a choice of how much they wanted to talk to the staff about their experiences. Um, and the other action I think will be important for us and for the staff member is to have readily information available. And now that we learn to recognize and, um, and understand the impact on those people, um, we, could put, um, we could have a tool to, to make referral, I guess, uh, for people to get more um, um, specialized help as possible. Yeah, and then that again is about recognizing people's needs to to seek help if they want to. So that was important for us to know. Yes. Thank you. Kevin, do you yeah, want to? Yeah, no. Uh, for me, uh, it was to know the history um, about you know the, the pre 1973, 1984 that they mentioned. Um, so it was to know that what parents went through or what younger people you know who were um, so it's like the, the history um, of, of uh, pregnancy and birth at that time um, and then the adoptions part of it so uh, now i think we are better prepared to to know um, where to refer people if ever um, there are need that comes up and uh, and how to tackle things uh, you know on our own as well how to um, to be more um, empathetic about issues that comes up. Thank you.